journeying toward my embattled city. After a year of estrangement, identity exile, I brace myself for the absence. That moment of not seeing. Lower Manhattan, so much lower now, and forever laced with this smoke of memory. What are we bracing ourselves for? What are we warring against? A fear of annihilation? An agitation building? A suicide bomb within, fortified by this need for vengeance, as if 3,000 vessels of flesh were not enough? As if the taste of blood left in our mouths inspired a hunger for meat? Warships surrounding this island? Like so many wars before. Tell me, are you protecting the natives or destroying them? Should we leave you there, parked in the ominous, murky waters, a cold reminder of an imagined threat? You wait while we destroy each other. Should we fly our flags high and hope that bravado will indeed be enough to keep us safe, my embattled city? What made you think you were the center to begin with? How could you declare yourself this nexus of commerce and trade covering the blood of chafed hands and broken bones in ticker tape and 200 floors of files now carpeting the streets, now blankets of ash, turning our world a visceral color to black and white, turning back history to a silent film, covering every action in shades of death? A finger lying in the rubble beckons to be found. Why? Only to further the torment of being lost, the bombardment of images relentless, our minds invaded hourly by covert operations and armies of media melting into propaganda manufacturing. Any enemy will do, because now retaliation is more important than truth. There's a new enemy, the cowboy says, reinventing the Indian yet again. But the cowboy always stays the same. Five hundred years of practice makes perfect, and repetition creates reality, and what is real collapses again and again, dissolving, crumbling, falling, and I am riding the wreckage down, trying to decide whether or not to jump. And I wonder, who would take my hand? My fellow citizens, at this hour, American and coalition forces are in the early stages of military operations to disarm Iraq, to free its people, and to defend the world from grave danger. On my orders, coalition forces have begun striking selected targets of military importance to undermine Saddam Hussein's ability to wage a war. These are opening stages of what will be a broad and concerted in front of a camera. One in 35 countries have been deficient for a moment. The reviews of the people who are behind our people are one of the most important Every nation in this coalition has chosen evil.